Today I'm going to show you how to interpret a fraction as division. This is problem one from homework. One divided by four. Let's look at the one as if it was one cracker that we're going to share among four people. We're going to partition this cracker into four parts. Each part is worth one fourth. I want you to start to think, how many fourths do I have within one cracker? Let's count. One, two, three, four. I have four fourths that I'm going to share or divide among four people. Four divided by four equals one fourth. Another way to write one fourth would be one over four. If you notice in the problem, the one matches the numerator and the four in the problem matches the denominator. I want you to keep that in mind for later on. Let's try another one. 3 divided by 2. Now we have three crackers that we're going to share among two people. So I'm going to partition my crackers into two parts and each part will be one half. I want you to start to think about how many halves are there within three crackers. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six halves that I'm going to divide amongst two people. Six divided by two equals three halves. Now another way to write three halves would be three over two. Now if you notice again in the problem, the three matches the numerator and the two matches the denominator. But because this is an improper fraction, we need to turn it into a mixed number. So I like to think of three over two as if I was jumping into a swimming pool. The three will dive under the water. Three divided by two. Two goes into three one time. Two times one is two. Three minus two is one. The answer is one and one half. Now we're gonna try some more problems using my little trick from before. If we had six divided by five, it would be six fifths. The six is the numerator and the five is the denominator. Let's try another one. One divided by two would be one half. The one is the numerator, the two is the denominator. Let's try one last one. 7 divided by 5. The answer is 7 fifths. The 7 is the numerator and the 5 is the denominator.